Hi, I'm Chris Fink. We're at O Games headquarters to check out the brand new golf game, John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf for the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and PC. With me now is David Wiltshire, executive producer at O Games, who's going to take us through some of the new and exciting features for the Pro Stroke Golf. So, David, I understand this is the first golf game to fully integrate PlayStation's Move Motion Controller from launch. Can you tell us a little bit about how it works? Okay. With, uh, with John Daly on the famous 10th at the Belfry, and uh, this is Caddy View that you're seeing at the moment. Now I can zoom to the area where I want the ball to go to, and I can also change my club in this initial setup. So I'm just going to address this ball now, and now I'm in pro stroke view. It initially allows you to do a practice swing. As you see, as, as I'm swinging the club, you'll see a yellow line, which is giving you one-to-one -one feedback. Now that feedback is effectively giving you the, uh, the, the ball path. That's really cool. How else does it affect your swing? Well, the move tracks your swing path, it tracks your wrist rotation on impact, and it also tracks your swing power. So how do I know if I'm actually swinging correctly? Well, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, there, you've got your, basically your power meter there. Uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, you've got the ball and you've got the club. So if the club angle is incorrect, you'll see it's depicted there. You've also got two, um, two lines of feedback there. The green line is your swing path. So again, if I swing the club, it gives you a one-to-one -one feedback on, on your swing in terms of the path and the yellow line gives you where an indication of where the ball will end up. Whoa! So as you can see on the left hand side there um, with the feedback you can see my swing path was, was pretty good but my club face was slightly open. That feedback's really extensive isn't it? What if I've never played golf before? Does that limit my shots and how I play the game? No, not at all. We've got basically you've got three levels of difficulty in the game, so it's designed for all. So you've got an amateur level, you've got a pro level, and you've got a tour pro level. So for example, if I'm playing in amateur mode, it's very, very forgiving and basically narrows your ability to swing badly. So it allows you to play good shots and, and have a good game. Okay, so what if I do play golf? What sort of control shots can I play with the move? Well, as you can see on the right hand side there, you can see your feet in your ball position. That's, you can actually change the ball position within your stance by holding the trigger button and shifting left and right. So if I wanted to play a punch, punch shot, for example, I'd have the ball in the back of my stance because you want to get a low trajectory. So I'm happy with that. I'll take my shot. Cool. You can also play fade and draw shots. So if I want to fade the ball, so just like in real golf, you open your stance, readjust your wrist, and take your shot. Okay, cool. So you can set your shots up without actually having to press any buttons. It's all done with your swing and stance. That's right. It's all in your shot setup. It's all in your swing and it's all in your stance. And it's, uh, it works on the pad as well as the move? Yeah, it works for the, um, the, the DualShock wireless controller. It also works on the 360 controller and also the 360 controller on the PC as well. Brilliant. Well, there you have it. Golf games about to be taken to the next level. So check out John Daly's Pro Stroke Golf on the Xbox 360, PlayStation 3 and PC out October 2010.